Hey, what's up? My name is Jay Hardway. Welcome back into my studio for another episode of Studio Time. Um, today I'm explaining how I made um, In My Head, the track that released on um, Sam Feld's label, Heartfelt Records. And uh, yeah, we're going to dive right into the project. Uh, it's pretty, uh, it looks pretty big if you look at it like this. Uh, but I'm trying to uh, make it less complicated looking. And um, yeah, let's go. Uh, let's start with the break. I'm going to show you what's in there. Uh, there are a lot of little elements that make this track really cool, I think. Uh, and for now, I'm going to uh, shut down, shut off the vocal. Uh, because that is a little bit, uh, little bit much, I think. Uh, and then you can hear what elements are used next to the vocal. Um, so let's go. The chords, uh, that's what my foundation was for this track. It's a keyscape, a uh, little organ. Uh, if you can hear, oh, it's a piano. Uh, piano organ. And uh, my computer isn't cooperating today for some reason. Um, there's some filter on it, so it's you don't hear it fully open, the filter. With the Fuji free filter, low pass. And these are the chords. Quite basic. Um, and it repeats two times, two times four bars. But what makes it cool is all the little elements that uh, come in it. So you have this little thing here. Uh, it's like a, also a keyscape. Uh, oh, it's not. It's a little bell. Uh, a one shot music box, a music shot sample, and that just only does this. And there's a lot of reverb on that, uh, as you can see here in my mixer. Uh, if mm, 32 Valhalla room uh, with the mix on 100%, uh, pre delay of, um, I can make this bigger for you. Um, pre delay of 0 milliseconds because the reverb is on 100%. If you then have a longer pre-delay, then um, the sound will start a little bit later because you only play the reverb. So that's what pre-delay is. Um, so that comes in. Um, and then here, that really cool violin type of sound. Uh, and it's actually a uh, Uno string from Leno synth sample pack. Uh, and I just, playing the piano roll with it so it just but it has this really cool sounding it, 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 it's like it's like going louder a little bit so it's really a moving sound which I really like uh, I have a stereo enhancer to make it stereo uh, EQ like this because this sound is quite uh, there's quite a lot of annoying notes in it if you would just play it uh, by itself without effects which would sound like this it would sound like this And then with the uh, reverb and everything a little bit softer. So a little bit more in the background. Uh, and it's really supporting the track nicely here. Uh, then this little ARP thing, which I didn't add in the beginning. Uh, this was in one of the final versions. I was like, it needs a little bit extra because without it, it sounds like this. added this to have, have a little bit more moving things it's a synth master if it's loading here we go um, and I made my own little ARP like this and I think it's just the preset so it's not uh, not any effect on it actually so so the delay and stuff is already in this preset so uh, yeah uh, synth master has a lot of great presets I think with which already sound full and deep, so you don't really have to add a lot. Uh, then this little clock. Um, it's actually from East West uh, Storm Drum 3. Uh, and there are like clock samples in it. And if you can see here, it's very simple, so it's just this. But what's cool about this sample library bank from East West is that if you play two notes, so if you're like playing a drum, uh, drum note, then... Um, it alters the sound every note. So even if it was the same volume, it would still sound different. Uh, so that makes it sound a bit more realistic. Um, yeah, so that's under there. And then there's this bass thing. And um, where is the bass? Mm, I think it's not in there. Uh, it's Nexus. 
Gritty is the way, is it called? Uh, and then a white noise to have that support that bass now, basically. And then an Omnisphere that have these strings. Open that for you so you can see uh, what the preset is. And it's the default patch. Hmm. I'm not sure if that's actually the default patch, but it sounds good, so um, yeah. Let's see what's on there. I don't think it's anything on it, no. Not sure if this is this default patch, uh, and I may have played with the cutoff here, but I'm not sure. But it sounds good. Uh, I don't know where the preset is. Um, then we go on in the drop, just adding stuff. A little a, a little clap, it's a huge stadium clap by Kashmir. To get things rolling with some EQ, taking out the low frequencies. Um, then, this thing that doesn't do anything here, I think because it's filtered, um, it is. But it's strings that come in filtered. So what you will hear in the track is it goes like this. It's fruity free filter. Also from east west, by the way, the the strings. So definitely a recommendation if you searching for nice strings and um, percussion and whatever. And I think they just started um, in the past years. Uh, a subscription model so you don't have to buy a whole library which used to be really expensive you can now just subscribe for like a year and then use all their sounds so that's actually amazing uh, and I think a lot of companies are doing that now which in music production is, is really 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 helpful um, so yeah look into that if you don't have all the money to buy a whole library there's a, usually some type of subscription possible um, so the strings come up Another piano, or this is the same piano, but out of the filter. Bass, which is a basic sign. Uh, I used the old Nexus, as you can see here, when I was making this. Um, and now I have a new one, and then the old project still have this thing, uh, this thing loaded. Um, yeah, little shaker, which is from the Jeff Funk percussion loop. And what I do usually when I search for like shaker loops, I kind of have in mind what I want and then starts going through splice and my own sample banks and I find whatever works uh, in, a, in, in a shaker loop and sometimes EQ a little bit, but I didn't even do that on this one. Um, so yes, I hear in my head, I need some kind of tambourine or a shaker and then I add that and um, then we continue. So. And I think, I think it's important to add those elements like shakers and clap just to get some rhythm going, get people excited for what's next. Um, yeah, that's that's how I uh, arrange my tracks. So let's go. We're going into the drop uh, with this build up. And of course, um, I have this melody, which already is here like this. And it sounds like I came up with it right away. Uh, I was practicing a lot of times with what, how should the melody go, and I had, of course, this uh, these chords, and everything is based on those chords. So also the melody where I'm going uh, is based on those chords. So um, I can show you if I have the melody in the break. It already works. So you can make your melody based on that. And then what I did is um, I used the piano rhythm and played with that. So that's this one, pattern two, uh, pattern. And let me take off the side chain for a second. So this is a rhythm that I came up with when I was making the drop. Um, so it's not that I came up with it in the build up, but I was just searching for the right rhythm with this melody for the bass and basically the bass and the chord layers all play this rhythm. And that's like where you get your groove and that has to work well with the melody. Um, so that is um, yeah, how I work. I have the chords, I make a melody and then I make the chords groove work with the melody and the bass. Uh, so that's a way you can approach that. Um, what is this? This is a piano. It's also, is it also playing in a drop? 
Yes, it's a different one, but this is the rhythm. So with kickstart on it, EQ, I mean, it's a, it's a piano where I took a lot, a lot of low frequencies as you can hear. So I'm gonna get into the lead in a little bit um, because I wanna show you now um, that's going towards the drop. There's some effects elements like this Roland airplane sound. Uh, some white noise, um, some impacts. I have an episode about how I usually, what I usually use in transitions. Uh, make sure to check that one out um, because it's, it's not, it doesn't have my priority when I'm working on a track. Um, so let's go into the drop. Um, it's 